Simulan na natin ang ating programa at para formal na buksan ang pagtitipong ito, mga kaibigan, please welcome the President of the Cultural Center of the Philippines, Ms. Maria Margarita Moran Florendo. What more could I say about someone who has proven her words on and off stage, on real and real life, who has been named of her by her fellow national artist, Lino Broca, as the greatest actress the Philippines has ever produced. National Who can forget her highly acclaimed performances in Tatlong Taong Walang Diyos? Yung sa isang gamo-gamo, Inaka ng Anak Mo, Bona, in the launching film of Cine Icon itself, Himala. But even after decades worth of accomplishments, and even after years of following and adoring her, our one and only superstar, our national artist Nora Honor, can and will continue to surprise us with what she can still offer and do for the Philippine cinema industry and in our national consciousness as Filipino people. Today, as we celebrate her 70th birthday, I'm going 70 because we come from the same era. The Cultural Center of the Philippines, through its Cine Icons program, presents one of her classic films, Ulaklak sa City Jail. Directed by Mario O'Hara and written by Gawal CCP Awardee, Luwalhati Bautista, this 1984 award-winning film depicts a realistic social condition led by women in the city jail. O'Hara and Luwalhati's creative vision touches on stark themes of injustice, dehumanization, and female oppression, things that Filipinos still experience today. It was Nora Honor's acting that brought Bulaklak City Jail to life. National artist Lamberto Abenana once said, she can show pain, sorrow, ecstasy, fun, and just her eyes. Alam natin lahat ng mga Norainians, sa mata pa lang ni Ate Gay, ramdam na natin ang istorya ng pelikula. Alam ko, excited na tayong lahat na, ma na, na mapanood muli ang Bulaklak City Jail. Kaya eh, hindi, hindi ako, hindi ako na magpagtatagalin pa. Oh, <laughs> so, like you said, my heartfelt gratitude to GSIS for being our partner for this special screening. I hope we can have many more collaborations in the near future. I would like to thank everyone for joining us today, not just to celebrate Ate Guy's 70th birthday, but to celebrate the Philippine cinema, our Philippine culture, through films. Thank you and enjoy the film.